work out all right with work is are they keeping the thing going like that is uh, things all right Michael, do you think that the current proposed cuts are going to be implemented by the government? Well, I suppose a straight answer to that is that uh, the current rate of borrowings that we have, whereby this government is borrowing over 400 million euros a week just to pay our public sector uh, wage bill, I can't see in any reality how that situation can be allowed to continue. Because the very fact that uh, our um, spending is so enormous, uh, the fact that we're going to have something like 55 or 60 billion of an income uh, or, or sorry of an expenditure and between maybe 30 or 35 uh, billion of an income the, the gap is very very wide and uh, there are going to have to be major changes of course there are proposals being made which I would be totally against and which are extremely hurtful and uh, which I, I certainly wouldn't want to be see being implemented but at the end of the day uh, public sector pay will have to be addressed and there'll have to be a, a, a big a big crackdown on, 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 on the spending that is going on at present. And uh, indeed there are tough economical times ahead. And, uh, <laughs> Nightmare Realm have asked me to read out their list of demands. Five inflatable pink rubber ducks. Bring back the happy hour in all pubs. Abolish all students' college rates. Five packs of 2H pencils and a pencil sharpener. A blank cheque for expenses from every TD. Three Hawaiian pizzas and two litres of coke. A party in the play-by mansion. And finally, abolish all caps like the one I'm wearing. If this list of demands isn't met by 12 o'clock tonight, they're going to kidnap a politician every two hours, starting next with Limerick's Willie O'D and Cox Dan Dan Boy. So could I plead with somebody, please help and sort out this list of demands. <laughs>